the time about the danger of drinking and driving, but some students at USM got to experience that danger firsthand without even taking a drink. WHLT's Carmen Farish got to check out some goggles that help you see the danger. That was just like, oh my gosh, kind of scared me because you never know, like, I didn't know, I couldn't see, like, where I was. So even if I was, like, drunk one day and I don't know my surroundings, it's dangerous because anything can happen. Sarabi DeBose is talking about her experience after trying to walk a straight line while wearing goggles that, although didn't simulate going over the legal blood alcohol limit of .08, it still kept her from walking like normal. I've seen the right line and the left line, and my goal is just try to stay in the middle of both lines. <laughs> but it was only one line. I know, but I felt like I was seeing two different lines. Members of the Behavior and Alcohol Research Lab say 92% of USM students report having a designated driver. Their goal is to increase that number and make students aware of the potential impact of heavy drinking. It made me realize if I'm driving and I have to think that way, there's going to be too much thinking trying to stay straight than focusing on the road. I wasn't walking straight. It was a little... You know, Rocky, but I would say don't drink and drive because you would put other people's life at risk. It looked like there was double lines and I could go in this direction or that direction and then go in the right way. Here I'm walking with goggles below the legal limit. And here I'm walking with goggles that have a blood alcohol level of at least 0.26. My judgment is very impaired at this point. <laughs> And driving is not recommended. A fourth year doctoral student with the research lab says promoting safe drinking is only half the mission. They want to reduce the amount of drinking and driving. So we really try and take a harm reduction ap approach. And through the drunk goggles simulation, the students are becoming more aware of the potential consequences of the heavy drinking um, and doing it in a fun, interactive way. Connecting you to Pine Bolt News in Hattiesburg, Carmen Farish, WHLT 22.